Welcome to another spirit filled message on Christocentric message. If you're new to this channel, I would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well. I would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth, it's going to bless you. Your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then God is going to visit your home. Thank you for watching. Stay blessed. You are told to honor a man and you say king you have many robes there's one that you wear let it be done to that man when you start wearing the king's clothes you are shifting closer to the throne <laughs> my god and the horse that the king rided upon does that sound like satan to you i will be like the most high i will arise above the stars of god the same spirit that walketh in the sons of disobedience. It says, And the crown royal which is set upon his head. Verse 9. And let this apparel and the horse be delivered to the hand of, of one of the king's most noble princes. That they array the man withal whom the king delighted to honor. Listen. And bring him on horseback through the streets of the city and proclaim before him thus shall it be done to the man whom the king delighted to honor full stop what a wicked man because he thought about himself and listen that opportunity only allowed his lost and imagination everything he had imagined to happen by all means now he had the chance and he said king this is what should be done to that man Next verse. Hallelujah. Ah. Then the king said to her man, Make haste and take the apparel and the horse that thou hast said and do even so to Joshua Selman. There is a strong anointing on what I share with you. That seated at the king's gate, let nothing fail of all that thou hast spoken. Nothing. Next verse. Then took Haman the apparel and the horse and arrayed Mordecai and brought him before the horseback through the street of the city. And Haman was dragging Mordecai. Thus shall it be done to the man whom the king delighted to honor. Next verse. And Mordecai came again to the king's gate now notice this let me explain to you what this means look up after all that glamour when Mordecai was done he returned back to the gate and sat there will you climb the king's horse with his apparel and not go to the throne and sit down Mordecai said I will stay where I was lifted there was a place I stayed even though I am rising I will not forget that it was my service at the gate that caused remembrance to come. Can you wear the king's robe, ride the king's horse, and still remain where the king kept you? The king had not promoted him. The king gave an instruction. I'm sure while Mordecai was on that horse, he was saying, don't be carried away. You are not yet in the palace you will go there but you are not yet there and he came down imagine the entire crowd say Mordecai I'm sure you are the assistant now and he says watch me let me return back to the place from whence that grace found me I cast my crown before the highest royalty I am undone before
Lord, your glorious majesty, you're the King of kings and Lord of Lord, you are the King of kings, you are the Lord of Lord, your glorious majesty. Someone be Mordecai tonight. Hey. Ya bode na kao Sucha ka de na kao Sir King Salama Sir King Aljana Ya bode na kao Ya bode na kao Sucha ka Sucha ka de na kao Sir King Salama Listen, this right here is how great men fall. When they are tested with power, when they are tested with lifting, when they are tested with the anointing, when God begins to lift you and sudden lifting come overnight, chances are that you will forget. Deuteronomy chapter 8, don't turn there. It says, let it not be that when you have built houses, when you have done all these things, you will say, my power and my might has gotten this. He said, but thou shall remember. Listen, it's not only God alone that has a book of remembrance. Men must have books of remembrance. When David stood before Goliath, he said, the God who delivered me I remember what happened. The God who delivered me from the bear, delivered me from the lion today. He would deliver me from this uncircumcised Philistine. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, and forget not his benefits. Forget not. Forget not that he took you from nothing. Forget not that there were 10 of you in your family and you are the first to rise now. Forget not that it was, you, you started rising before you knew anything about favor. Forget not. Let's just stay here and let me teach you something very powerful, my brothers and my sisters. A man who can remember is a man who can be sustained a man who can remember the faithfulness of God remember where you were yesterday remember the hand that lifted you that is the man that will never go down pastors forget businessmen forget years ago I remember I watched a Nigerian film of a village girl who was loved by a wealthy man i don't know the name of the film i don't even know who acted it are we together now and he picked this village girl i think she was selling something granotos you know the way they do nigerian films and he saw her and liked her and picked her his parents insulted him he said kill me i would marry this village girl and then like 11 years or so down the line she had become the wife of this man and there was another village girl who was a house help in that house and this one's village girl ill treated this woman ill treated the young girl until one time i think she got blind or paralyzed or something and when she was paralyzed it was the small girl that stayed with her in the hospital and then a pastor came to pray for her for uh, uh, healing or something and then she began to remember that all of this and that and that then the long and short of the nigerian film is that she later discovered that that girl was her sister the little girl i think the, maybe the mother had the child somewhere also that was her sister that she was ill-treating let me tell you this the bliss of the palace made the butler to forget the bliss of greatness the applause of men 
you know most people sit down and say what is there in fame what? no 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 there is a reason why remembrance is necessary you want sustainable anointing you want sustainable impact please learn to remember you need to have a book of remembrance that is in the similitude of that which is on the throne i remember that 10 years ago when i was nothing this gentleman came i remember when i was soaking gary for instance you will say i remember so that you don't see him 10 years later and push him no there are mistakes you make when you are outside of the palace it does not matter if you make those mistakes in the palace you will pay for it first she could make any mistake outside the palace and go scot free but now this mistake on the throne would cost her so much thou shall remember the lord thy god thou shall remember many have forgotten their fathers many have forgotten their mothers many have forgotten those who played all kinds of roles in their lives many have forgotten the god that lifted them many have forgotten the hand that helped them please listen to what i'm telling you god is speaking to someone here that a man can rise so high that the scar of yesterday's pain can so erode from your life and your mind it will never look like you were there it will never look like you ever climbed a bike in your life it will it will never look like you soaked gary i know sometimes we are excellent people but sometimes we allow the deception of success to so swallow us that we lose the ability to forget i have learned as a personal principle that modesty is the closest way to remember when you live a life that is modest temperate the bible calls it that he that strives for mastery is temperate that means define boundaries it was a mistake solomon made he refused to be temperate by the time we get to ecclesiastes solomon was a man who was utterly lawless and careless see let me tell you this i believe in prosperity i believe in all the blessings of god but look at me believers there is only so much cloth you can wear there is only so much food you can eat are we together now this is all the stomach you have another one will not come from anywhere thank god for all the cars you will have you will not remove one leg and put it in one jeep and remove your head and put it in another car the way we approach success if not guided by these mysteries many people will fall by the wayside this is why you find out uh, respectfully speaking this is true for men of god is true for business people is true for politicians they begin to rise and when the whole world is watching suddenly they vanish out of thin air the mistake of haman and the wisdom of mordecai are two lessons we must learn Mordecai rides on a horse the king's horse that honor is an honor that I don't think even the queen had and when Mordecai dropped he said thank you Haman he returned back to the king's gate that's where they found him was it not on your knees the anointing found you have you returned back <laughs> Was it not in the place of fasting and prayer that grace met you? Was it not in the place of dedication where you will roll like this, my dear brother that was rolling left and right? I'm sure for some of you that was so embarrassing. This guy is falling his hand. So a, a deceptive approach to life tells us. Listen, if you were lifted on your knees, remain on your knees. If you were lifted while singing his praise, remain singing his praise. It's very uncomfortable to remain on your knees when the world is watching you. It's embarrassing. You are not that naive. You should stand so you can shine. Apostle Joshua Selman, the man of God, anointed. But when you remember that if God forgets you, anything can happen to you when god forgets you 
anything can happen it's a lesson we are still going to move on but i need you to get this listen i have shared this for years and told people be careful i have warned many people in my life and said if if you don't pay attention with the way you are managing success you will fall by the wayside it was not prophecy some of them thought it was nonsense nonsense and today sadly speaking many of them have gone down as if it was not god that lifted them do you know the higher you rise the more slippery the path is a day can come when you will even be ashamed to roll before god why will i roll my designers on the ground in the presence of kings and in the presence of nobles this was the mistake that saul's daughter made that made her remain barren when david it was time to take the ark david danced and danced and rejoiced like a fool and the daughter of saul said king you are no longer a shepherd you are carrying a stupid bush mindset you want to embarrass yourself you are no longer a, you are a king act like royalty and he said i'm dancing before god who took the kingdom from your father and gave to me and the bible says god had that conversation when god had that conversation no matter what would have happened she wouldn't have given birth because an indignation rose i continue to tell god i say lord i remain your boy oh huh i am other people's father i am other people's mentor i am other people's role model thank god for that but i remain your boy you will always meet me where you found me adam where are you i heard thy voice but i hid because i was naked he said her man let's continue sit please her man hasted to his house mourning crying and having his head covered next verse and her man told zeresh his wife and all his friends everything that had befallen him and said his wise men and zeresh listen then said his wise men and zeresh his wife unto him if mordecai be the seed of the jews before whom thou hast begun to fall thou shall not prevail against him but shall surely fall before him that means this mistake you have made mordecai is the seed of the jews there are commandments that have been given the jews to not forget if mordecai is a true jew and will remember those ordinances you are finished because the factors that should make him fall and give way will not happen again your doom is true look at this mordecai once at the gate now I, I want to save us time because you read later on you find out that her man was hung at the gallows all kinds of things began to happen in his life culminated by esther's declaring to the king that this man wanted to destroy her people and the king went to his garden to think like any wise leader would do to not be hasty in speech and then he came and knelt down and was begging her and when the king came it looked like he was trying to rape the wife and the king said not only have you annoyed me you are now trying to rape my wife go and hang this guy the gallows was there waiting for them and they hung him there and that was the end of it and then eventually mordecai was honored to take the place of haman in the palace and that ends the story of esther listen carefully there are two women only in scripture whose names became the books of the bible and their names were written there so that we will remember what they did the two names ruth and esther were put in the bible the two women did the same thing notice that in all cases it had to do with men 
it had to do with marriage and it had to do with the power of submission the power of loyalty the power of not trivializing the things that god can do and the remembrance that follows ruth remembered her mother-in-law and said i'm not leaving you your god will be my god your people will be my people and because she stayed and remembered how this woman was nice to her as a mother-in-law she led her and advised her to a field of a wealthy man called boaz are we together now yes and boaz saw her and loved her and took her i hope it is very interesting because for esther she had never married but for ruth she lost her husband and now an opportunity was coming again remembrance the book of remembrance that archives the works of the saints and that there is a reward system attached to it and that once you can invoke the mystery that will make god remember now take note he's not remembering because he's forgotten he's remembering because it is part of the ordinances of heaven for administering justice remembrance let me show you a scripture i found that really really changed my life and then i'll give you two keys and we'll pray never forget this scripture for the rest of your life nehemiah chapter 13 and verse 14. please read with me everyone is projected if you can see nehemiah chapter 13 and verse 14. one to read remember me oh my god concerning this stop 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 that means you can take any matter to god and provoke remembrance concerning this you can put your this there concerning my finances concerning my family situation concerning my joblessness concerning the tragedy happening you can go before god and say remember me oh my god concerning this and wipe not my good deeds that i have done for the house of my god and for the offices thereof when the lord showed me this scripture i remember crying like a baby i said this is powerful lord do not wipe these good deeds with all humility you can go before god lord i have served lord i am a faithful worker i stand before god it is true that i clean the seats lord i stand before you that you can go concerning this this is how to petition the parliament of heaven remember concerning this and all that i have done do not wipe it out for the house of the lord and for the offices thereof so god remembers and every time god remembers god acts please look at me my dad is such an amazing man quite a very very amazing man one thing i learned from my dad that i thank god for he's still alive i truly thank god for is that my dad was an extremely grateful man my dad paid attention i saw this growing up if you did something striking my dad would make a big deal out of it and will continue to raise a memorial over that act one time they were traveling to the village and it was in the night i don't know what took them there it was really late and the car broke down i think it was raining and there was they asked around and there was a mechanic now they were more than halfway the journey almost in the middle of nowhere and the mechanic was brought and he had to look at the car and the mechanic not only looked at the car i think i hope i'm right he followed them right to the village so that if anything happened he would be there do you know from that time until i left home every time my dad were traveling he would buy potato or buy something and stop at that house and say where is this man this was 
even it was it was more than 10 years down the line he was still doing it remembrance remembrance there are people today who are not supposed to be sitting with kings but are sitting because the kings remember their fathers remember their mothers you said you are the son of who that man let me tell you a little story in 1961 i was a young boy from the village with a torn trouser when your father gave me a cup of water the cup of water that was what 10 naira is now what a great destiny because of remembrance when god remembers you you are lifted when men remember you you are lifted you need the book of remembrance to be open where would i be if you left me now where would i be if you left me now where would i be you wait thank you jesus do you know let me tell you in my personal walk with god there are things that god has done in my life even to this day he continues to do them and most times when i go before him to say thank you he will remind me of a particular kingdom not necessarily a sacrifice he will tell me that this that happened do you know there are families before i finish my story there are families that will never go down do you know why because they didn't have all the money but they left a little room for missionaries they left a little space and every man of god will come you would think the people are in ministry their job is to cook and you would think those things will be forgotten but there is a book in the heavenlies where these things are recorded and you will see the child would come many years later sometimes the child may not even be serious with god but for that covenant of remembrance god will come and visit the children remembrance i once watched the documentary of fiji island the revival that happened in fiji island and it was said that the missionaries the early missionaries who got there that the people oppressed them and killed them or butchered them or did something very tragic and then they died the moment they died is a documentary i think you can find it somewhere the fish in the sea stopped producing fish the land stopped producing at its maximum it wasn't even producing the nation literally plunged to depression until some intercessors began to pray they began to pray and to pray and to pray and then the lord revealed to them that there is an indignation that is rising over that territory and that they needed to plead the blood it would take the blood of the eternal covenant to solve this problem and then they had time to pray repent on behalf of the nation and then in addition fortunately they found the grandchildren of the missionaries that they had killed the grandchildren and they invited them to fiji island and they performed a ceremony officially apologizing loving them and they prayed and blessed the land just like child's play within a short time i don't know what time frame exactly strangely they saw fish in the sea and species of fish that they had not seen the first crusade that we had as a ministry the first crusade it was in plateau state i remember one of the the people who was guiding us the tour guide he took us to the graves of the missionaries and showed us the missionaries that were killed when they brought the gospel to that land and showed us the missionaries and showed us everything and that from that time that they killed the people all kinds of things had been happening in the land and i remember standing there to pray and we said lord the lord is gracious and compassionate the bible says he's slow to anger and rich in love we stood there and said we are also missionaries and in the name of jesus christ we stand by the blood that speaketh better things than the blood of any abel there and to speak and say in the name of jesus that the land be released i tell the truth and i lie not 
we were somewhere standing and we were watching a hill and all of a sudden physical dark shadow like everybody you could record it we just began to see it slowly moving out of the land it took almost 45 minutes so it was not something you would rush like that just moving corporately out of the land where i schooled secondary school there used to be a tree the tree i'm not exaggerating the tree was dried but all the leaves were on it they tied ropes around the tree and you would ask and they would tell you there was a story that the tree was cursed there was a story that happened around there cursed as a memorial over the land why would god tell the nation of israel raise a memorial in this place and teach your children that means they should not forget if they ask you why do you do this teach them that this is why we do this so that you will know this book of the law shall not depart from out of thy mouth but thou shalt meditate keep it keep it my son he says pay attention to my words incline your ears to my sayings he says do not let them depart depart from your mouth keep them in the midst of your heart then he says they are alive to those who find them and health to their flesh as a man i've had people in my life who i almost cannot reject helping and lifting because they the the power of remembrance they will always remember and make reference and say apostle thank you you did so 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 and so to me you did so 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 and so to my family and they remind me of god and i'm compelled every time even when they don't ask me anything it's like their remembrance of that is is a debt that that i must pay i am moved to wanting to help them again many have forgotten like haman i want to employ the wisdom of mordecai that you never forget where he brought you from are we together that there is remembrance now let me teach you before we pray very quickly two keys two keys that open the book of remembrance over a man there are two scriptures that will reveal these keys and then we'll pray blessed be the name of the lord galatians chapter 6 and verse 9 this is the first key that you will need to open the book of remembrance over yourself over your family over your territory let's read together one two go and let us not be weary in well-doing uh-huh for in due season we shall reap if we faint not watch this the first key that opens the book of remembrance is consistency of your well-doing regardless of reward regardless of who sees you regardless of whatever commendation comes or does not come consistency weariness is something that can catch up with you when your value is not being appreciated when your impute is not being noticed are we together now we are humans and if you continue to strive to contribute in the life of a man a ministry an organization a system and it looks like you are not noticed and you are not rewarded the side effect is weariness and the bible says let us not be weary that means that your reward is tied to your consistency this country is full of stories of people who deserve to be rewarded politically spiritually are we together financially in business in ministry but for many years they had all kinds of hamans around their lives around their offices yet the people continue to be steadfast 
many of our loved ones have situations where they were qualified to be the ones sitting at certain positions but manipulations happened and yet they continued being consistent the bible says if you are consistent if you are steadfast if you are unbending in well-doing the bible gives you a guarantee that a season according to the law of times and seasons the law of time and chance because it happened to them all the bible says one day like the hand of a clock it must come to your turn and you must find expression this is true this is true I met a precious lady yesterday one one dear lady i used to know her that should be 2004 2005 in the campus here she used to sing in one of the fellowships wonderful lady she would sing her heart out dance and celebrate god everyone wanted to attend the fellowship just because i mean the lady would lead worship with all she was always smiling always happy and then I had the opportunity to see her yesterday and I saw her she was happy now a mother of many children and I looked at her and then she brought me her album and said apostle I remember those days and I said oh dear who told you God does not remember who told you God forgets the sacrifices of the saints there are things you are doing today you are already securing tomorrow with it a day will come you will watch the video of this level of koinonia and tears will come out of your eyes you say that was me cleaning the chairs that was me playing the keyboard and someone stands to say you are not supposed to be where you are and god says it's too late your consistency imagine if mordecai got tired and said look i'm tired of bailing the king out and then her man would be receiving the glory mordecai was consistent even when he rode upon the king's back he returned to stay where he was found everybody say consistency listen this is an encouragement to someone right now the worship team got it powerfully what's that song again you are not turning back where's Tosin? not turning back and not going just sing that part for me no wait on you jesus I'm gonna wait on you, Jesus. I'm gonna wait on you, Jesus. I'm gonna wait on you, Jesus. Yeah, that's the song. I'm gonna I'm wait. I'm not turning back now. 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 One more time. I'm gonna wait on you, Jesus. 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 And I'm not turning back now. I'm not turning back now. I'm not turning back now. I'm not turning. Listen, let me teach you something. Impatience will always give birth to what will fight your promise. You must sustain the stamina to stay. Let God meet you where he last instructed you. Lord, I will continue. Kai. Another woman who showed us the power of waiting was Anna the prophetess. The Bible says for about 60 years, from the time she lost her husband, listen carefully, for about 60 years, she was in the temple. Do you know what it means to pray without results for 60 years? Abraham did it for 25 years. Hey, my soul, wait thou upon the Lord. There is power in waiting. There is power in staying. There is power in remaining. I keep sowing. I don't see the heavens open, but I will continue sowing. I keep speaking. I may not see the result, but I will never stop speaking. I will keep serving. I may not see the result, but I will keep serving. I will hold on to the word. Men may mock me. They may call you stupid. You are wasting your time. 
Where is the consolation? When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dream. And our mouths were filled with laughter. And they testified among the hidden that the Lord had done great things for us. He says, the Lord had done great things for us, whereof we are glad. Turn again our captivity like the streams of the naked. The Bible says, they that sow in tears. Listen, Koinonia, it is possible to sow in tears. And the Bible says, in due season, John remained in the wilderness until his season of appearing. Hear me. Listen to me. You must conquer the pressure that men will bring to you. They will push you into seasons that are not yet God's design. They will push you into things that are not yet God's design. Mordecai, can you remain in the palace? Can you stay at the gates? Mordecai looked at Haman and knew that Haman was occupying his position. But the battle is the Lord's. He remained at the gate. If Haman tried to fight Mordecai, Mordecai would kill him because Mordecai, Haman was the king's friend. Can I tell you this, my brothers and my sisters? It will not always look like this. Let me speak to you. It will not always be that you will go home every night and wonder, what do I eat? No, no. The Bible says, why we look not at the things that are seen, but the things that are unseen. Man of God, it will not always be that you go to a meeting and the power of God will not be there. No, you, you are in a season. Stay, stay, I'm prophesying to you. You are in a season. Build stamina and stay. A day will come when the glory of God will mantle you. Stay while you learn. Jesus, you are Savior, not at age 12. You are Savior, not at age 18. Jesus, you are Savior, not at 30. You are only Savior at 33. The 18 year old Jesus would not save the world. Joseph, you are a deliverer, but not in the pit. Please listen to what I teach you tonight. These are secrets of the kingdom. My soul wait. So the first key that causes the book of remembrance to be open. The book of remembrance in heaven and the book of remembrance before men is consistency. Keep praying. You look like a fool but keep praying. Bros, you are still here. Five years you are not making progress. Your colleagues have started ministry. Stay there. Stay there, stay there, stay there while you pray. Listen, let me tell you. One of the most powerful virtues of the spirit is self-control. Many of the gifts of the spirit are tied to it. Why should I keep quiet when I can prophesy? Why should I not talk when I can preach? There are people in this ministry that I love so much, scattered in and around. They are mighty men in the spirit, in ministry. Some of them are mighty business people in this ministry. Multi-millionaires. You will never see any pressure to be known, any pressure to be seen. They come and sit down, they serve God, they worship God, yet they are mighty prophets. They are mighty apostles. Let me tell you something. When you see a man that has self-control, respect such a man. It is powerful to have what to say and keep quiet. It is powerful to know what to do and still remain. It is powerful to see a door that is open and yet not move. If the door is closed, it's not a proof of your stamina. The door is closed. But can you stand before an open door and yet not move? Hallelujah. This is very powerful. I've had the opportunity to meet a lot of great people in my life. And sometimes when people want to tell me who and who I'm going to meet, they'll say, Apostle, 
this man is a great man or maybe he's an influential man politically or he's a great man financially or spiritually and apostle ah these people have this and that and i stand before the lord god of heaven and i lie not i have never been under pressure to tell anybody sorry sir can you help me and buy recharge card uh, I, there is a ministry called koinonia if the ministry is blessing you can you send 10 naira no no consistency god is ministering to someone now because you see let me tell you this there are many of you that coming to koinonia is even an embarrassment to you because by the time you come they look at you and say for five years no car no nothing the only thing you do is to pray like a fool the only thing you do is to loiter around and sometimes you can feel stupid for being consistent i give you a scripture you are already opening a door stay there till the door opens you see the thing about god is that five minutes to your lifting it will still not be like it five minutes to your rising joseph you are still in the prison while the person has left the palace and is coming to you already you are not seeing him Oh Israel, when God is already winning the battle, you don't have to fight, but you are not seeing. Just believe in what Jehoshaphat is saying. Hallelujah. Consistency. I will pray as before. I will fast as before. I will worship as before listen never be ashamed of your today you will miss it tomorrow receive the grace and the stamina to stay let people laugh at you let people mock you especially for our dear ladies because society has all kinds of pressures on ladies show us your husband is he a rich man show us this show us that have you traveled to um um, um asia america london uk and you stand there feeling stupid for loving the lord let us not be weary in well-doing. There are preachers that need to stay. Lord, what should I do now? Should I start a church or should I stay? And God says, just keep doing what you are doing. In due season, we shall reap. Can I tell you this? The season of reward for a man's life is a fearful dimension of that man's life. For reasons you cannot tell and explain, you will see that God will command the territory to begin to sing your songs and to speak your purposes. David was going to be king, but for a very long time he was in the wilderness. He killed a lion, but remained in the wilderness. He killed a bear. If that news got to Saul, they would have called him to serve in the palace, but he would never be king. Sometimes don't be quick to announce your achievements. Let God and time reveal it. Just come. Kill the bear, but remain quiet in the wilderness. This itch to talk sometimes is proof of weakness. You sabotage where you are going. Did the Bible not already tell you that you cannot light a lamp and hide it under a bushel? Waiting is very hard. It's proof of spiritual maturity to wait until seasons come. Hallelujah. I've shared with you my story for many years in this ministry. God would not allow me to buy a car. Even when Koinonia was on, crowds of people here, I would climb a bike and come for Koinonia. You would think I were a stupid person. It was not lack of finances just like that lord why do you want to humiliate me i love you so much why won't you leave me to buy a car then people started bringing cars to give me and god would tell me to just bless them and let them go if i were your relative would you clap for me for that kind of brain you would just be careful what you call common sense it has destroyed many people the way of the spirit is very strange I will never forget one time a man came to sit in front of me and said this is what God gave him he was going to bring me car keys and he carried the keys of the car and I was already smiling when he came again mm -mm. he said this man has not discussed with his wife his wife would join the people who would talk about you and say you have manipulated the husband I appreciated the man prayed for him with all my heart and told him to carry the car and go you see that Will I ever have a need of a car today? No. Never, ever, forever. 
listen waiting pays when god wants to pay you he will backdate it press down shaken together to make room for more feel it till it runs over sustain the stamina to wait shut your mouth and your ears against the things that people say and all the rubbish and the nonsense that you will hear people say you are on your way to a dimension of grace he's training you he's teaching you listen you can stay with god you are lifting people out of the wheelchair and god will tell you not to honor one invitation sit down lord as what be a brother in welfare not even prayer band not even any place lord at least let me go to prayer department he says welfare is where i need you but lord are you aware i'm a prophet and you, i will be a prophet to the nations he will say cook let me teach you how to feed men and you are there turning food and somebody says do you ever have the ambition of being a chef and you almost want to want to slap the person and say are you do i look like a chef and god says turn it i teach you how to overturn and you carry that cooler on your head and you are marching and someone says, ah, emoji was it not you that was in our house yesterday he said this you mean i thought you were a pastor say no i work in the welfare department what kind of church is this is it that they don't see men of god in this church and you feel stupid you drop that cooler and say no god this this lady i she 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 saw me prophesy god says carry that cooler because it is while you are carrying that cooler you are qualifying yourself a day will come you will be able to carry any luggage and not be ashamed because you learned how to carry something embarrassing hallelujah i always tell people jokingly I didn't start ministry preaching let me tell you you've heard my story i started ministry playing keyboard for a reverend who were part of the, the it was a prison ministry they were part of the people who preached later on to general obas and joe when he was in prison they used to allow the mission agencies to go and preach they preached to him i used to play keyboard for them i had my local church and then later on he started a church when he started a church it was quite a distance from where i would live i would carry my own keyboard by myself this was 93 94 i would carry keyboard by myself and trek to the international hotel where he was using and drop it there i would play that keyboard they will finish share the grace i will carry it and trek back with joy the only thing I ever got throughout my time of serving in that ministry was one cassette and one bottle of Fanta when they were dedicating his album. I would have been offended and I would have been angry and say, you don't know who I am. The proof of sonship is servanthood. If you can serve, you are a son indeed. Let this mind be in you which was also in Christ Jesus though he is God he considered it not robbery he came and humbled himself died even the death on the cross wherefore on the strength of that do you know that Jesus was almost giving up at Gethsemane as a man if it's possible let this cup pass over me I said nevertheless not my will but yours be done so this is the first key someone say I will continue Better is the end of a thing, the Bible says, than the beginning thereof. It is not enough to start. You must trust God for grace. And listen, my brothers and my sisters, I admit to you that it is painful. Your humanity will catch up with you while you wait. Yes. As a gentleman, they will look at you and say, I used to know you in 2000. You mean you are still here? How much is this shoe you are buying? Which church did you say you are serving? He said, no, I've been promoted. I'm a deacon. He said, deacon, deacon indeed. Your useless life looking like your yesterday. You have not changed. And you stand there feeling stupid for serving God. And God says, continue.
I almost gave up. Sam. Felt like I just couldn't take life anymore. This is an encouragement for someone. My problems held me bound. Depression weighed me down. But God kept me. So I wouldn't let go. God's mercy kept me. So I won't let go. God can keep. He can give strength to the faint. Whatever you have to do, keep moving. Even if you cry, cry, but keep moving. Even if you feel discouraged, keep moving. Insist that I will never stop. If God has not stopped on me, then I will not stop on myself. I know he's called me to be a worshiper to the nations. My first song, they forgot it in two days. You may be saying. Some of you put your songs online. After three months, only two people liked it. No problem. Just continue. Some of you put your sermons online. And you had only four comments and all of them were criticizing you. Go back to Bible school. Someone wrote nonsense. Another person said, look, false prophet. And he just said, I will never go online again. I will never preach this thing again. No. Reinhard Bonke said the first time, he used to escort a man for crusade. And that day the man told him, God said he would not come back again. Reinhard Bonke would be the person to preach. And Reinhard Bonke said he was shaking. He was saying, Lord, is this how you have chosen to embarrass me? and he stood and began to preach and he began to minister to the sick and people started shouting blind eyes i can see deaf ears i can hear people were rising out of wheelchair please continue receive the grace to continue receive the grace to keep praying receive the grace to keep speaking yeah. hallelujah someone can come to your family and say kai this is your family, you will never change. You people are just like this. Keep declaring. With my eyes will I see the salvation of the Lord. Surely there is an end. My tomorrow is better than my today. I will one day be called Beulah and Hephzibah. I am the planting of the Lord. A well-watered garden. Thou hast caused men to ride upon our heads. We walk through water and through fire. But thou broughtest us into a wealthy place. The Lord is my light and salvation. Of whom shall I be afraid? He won't stop. He won't stop. Till my life looks like him. He won't stop. He won't stop. Till I look just like him. I won't stop. I won't stop. Till I look just like him. I won't stop, I won't stop Till I look just like you Please sit down, key number two and then we'll pray The first key that can cause remembrance towards you Before God and before men Is to not be weary in well doing Continue, rewarded or not, continue commended or not continue understood or not continue number two isaiah 43 verse 26 thank you jesus isaiah 43 and verse 26 want to read koinonia put me in remembrance let us plead together Declare thou that thou mayest be justified. God is speaking. Put me. Lift up a cry from the earth to heaven. And say, Lord, remember. Put me in remembrance. Put me in remembrance. Are you ready for one powerful scripture you should add to your library? 
if there are five scriptures in your library let this be there ah i found this scripture day before yesterday i was meditating it fired like an arrow from my head to my feet i blasted in tongues i said that's right you see the bible said the kingdom of god is like a man who lost his treasure and you find candle and broom you sweep it when you find that you rejoice numbers chapter 10 verse 9 numbers 10 verse 9 look up koinonia and read it with faith in your heart ready one to read and if ye go to war in your land against the enemy that oppress you then shall ye blow an alarm with the trumpets and ye shall be remembered before the lord your god and ye shall be saved from your enemy i now know what they did in before jericho that when you stand and your enemies overwhelm you lift up the trumpet is the power of praise lift up that trumpet the word is yada praise lifted with understanding that when you see that you are encompassed by enemies and there is no way for victory when you pray in addition to that prayer put god in remembrance then don't disturb him again lift up your trumpet and begin to blast it like the priest that you are go around your jericho while you blast the trumpet go around your jericho while you blast the trumpet and the bible says that sound that shofar will come before god as a memorial this is scripture see let god be true and let every man be a liar hallelujah please take it higher for me look at this scripture he says you shall be remembered before the lord when you lift up your trumpet i just saw a trumpet this is what i saw in the spirit like a sound a shofar Hey, hey, hey. My Chetona, I got a great Oh, I got red and I don't I will never fall. I got red and I don't get I will never fall. I got red I don't I I I I it says then shall the earth yield forth her increase so the earth can yield when you stand before a barren land it says put me in remembrance then when you are done praying all paul and silas after you pray sing and let the mighty one that sits upon the throne come and rent the heavens the name of the lord is a strong tower 
the righteous run to it like the ark of Noah and they are saved Agarei Kanado Kara Soyina Agarei Kanachina Listen. The Bible says, though the olive may not produce, they may not be fixed on the vine. He said, Yet, yet I will rejoice. I will rejoice. I will joy in the God of my salvation. My Bible says, let the redeemed of the Lord say so. It says, though weeping and joys for a night. Koinonia, hear me. Joy comes with the morning. Listen. There is one thing I know about God. That no eye has seen. No ear has heard. Neither has it entered into the heart of man. What the Lord has in store for them that love him. But the Bible says he has revealed them. That when I praise him. When I lift up a cry. And say Lord remember me concerning this. When I'm done saying it. I begin to sing and dance like a madman. And sing my way to another level. And dance my way to another dimension. It does not make sense. He said, I will sing unto the Lord, for he has triumphed gloriously. The horses and his rider has been thrown into the sea. Hallelujah. Please hear me. Do not trivialize what you have heard. Do not trivialize this deep mystery. Your destiny helper has a book of remembrance. Men have books of remembrance listen there are things you have done for the kingdom some of you have served god some of you have prayed some of you have helped men some of you your parents lifted people and everybody has forgotten about you let me tell you what to do when there are men in your life who can help you and they forget about you don't go knocking their offices you are you are doing it the wrong way go to the god of all flesh the father of spirits raise a cry before him unto thee that answers prayer shall all flesh come lord i bring before you this petition i am a member of welfare department i am a member of prayer band i'm a member of worship team let god be true he says to lift up that incense and then begin to sing can you open your mouth and begin to blast in tongues Pray in the spirit. Koinonia, pray. Man of God, pray. Businessman, pray. 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 Praise the Lord. Please look at me. Esther chapter 6 verse 1. Please media help us quickly. Esther chapter 6 and verse 1. And on that night could not the king sleep. The same way Nebuchadnezzar or Zedarius could not sleep because the three Hebrew boys, Daniel, was in the lion's den. Listen, I'd like you to pray in tongues for the next one minute. And listen, this should be your focus when you pray. Father, 
wake everyone sleeping who should be awake to remember me lift your voice and pray in the spirit on that night Ben could not Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So number one, the king had to wake up. Number two, he commanded to bring the book of remembrance. You are about to pray. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Say, Father, I stand by the blood. And in the name of Jesus. And I declare tonight let the book of remembrance in heaven and on earth concerning me concerning my reward let it be open now lift your voice and pray <laughs> Hallelujah. Please look up. Look up. Listen. The first time the Spirit of the Lord opened the book of Esther to me. The book of Esther as a book containing a mystery of favor was opened to me. It was a February of that year. The end Entire month, I prayed favor. I prayed favor into my life. I believed it with all my heart because I found it there that books can be opened. Hallelujah. Now, listen, favor is real. Please hear me. Don't sit down, and waste your time, and hate God for nothing. Favor is very, very real. hallelujah all blessings come from God through men to you from God through men to you when the book is opened in heaven the spirit opens the book and the bride also opens the book on earth it is the spirit and the bride that tells the world to come 
listen it is not difficult when the book is opened Ahasuerus said what should be done to a man who the king chooses to honor is a choice it's a choice God can choose to honor you Jacob have I loved Esau have I hated there is nothing that can be done when God's jealousy has been invested upon you listen to me believers in Christ we are people who are beloved do you know what it means to be loved that means God has made himself vulnerable to you beloved I have loved thee with an everlasting love he said and I have drawn you with my loving kindness but that the book of remembrance be opened I have seen these books opened even for me I've sat down quietly and suddenly God brings to my mind the names of people not word of knowledge not word of knowledge God does not just tell me their names God connects something they had done to my life and I suddenly become indebted to them I just remember A woman had done something for me years ago very trivial thing I think it was towards the end of last year it just became a burden in my heart for no reason clear the school fees of the children help them with whatever you can do it was a burden the woman never she was not even in contact with me I didn't even have her details and I had to look for someone I said please can you help me access so 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 and so say yes I said please let me have her details and suddenly I looked at it and I said okay no problem madam can I help you this is what the Lord is putting in my heart the woman said this is an answered prayer I've been crying I'm a widow I'm a widow see let me tell you don't go around harassing people to help you that's not the way it works everything works in the realm of the spirit stay and pray and declare and declare and sing and declare that the heavens open up its book that the seven seals be broken that it be opened weep not for the book is opened when the book is opened that remembrance suddenly someone will call you and say ah I forgot you remember what happened to the butler I remember my wrong this day have you not blessed people in your life did you not win souls in your life have you not served the purposes of the kingdom hear me believers don't be ashamed of your service it is a memorial that can rise before God Hezekiah turned his face to the wall and Hezekiah cried and said remember oh God do not forget bless the Lord oh my soul and all that is within me bless his holy name bless the lord oh my soul and forget not his benefits lord you have said if i obey and i serve you i will spend my years in prosperity my days in joy you have said it and i serve you with all my heart let the blessings that follow service follow me it's a petition you are placing a demand like mordecai the Bible does not record it, but I believe that whilst Mordecai sat at the gate, he continued to speak and call upon the God of the Hebrews. Avenge me, my adversary. Her man is in the palace causing mayhem to me and to the people of the Lord. Arise in your mercy. Listen, there are things that can happen between you and God on account of your service. That when the enemy raises an assault against your family, against your life you can stand up with a counter petition lord remember remember when god is jealous towards you it has happened it has happened i'm telling you what i do myself and i'm sharing with you these secrets koinonia let me tell you this is october but if you believe the things i'm saying and the books are open you will be surprised at the unending you will come and testify here that someone who forgot you remembered you and said sorry is your father still alive is your ah. when joseph met with um benjamin and all the other brothers he asked them a question he said is your father still alive 
is everything well with you is this well with you fetch them and bring them to egypt they brought them they settled at goshen and they were prosperous until joseph died and joseph said when you go out of egypt carry my bones carry this principle carry this pattern with you don't lose it this is the structure it's an ordinance carry it together hallelujah there are things that god has done for others for the sake of others there are things that god does for the saints for the sake of jesus there are things that can happen to Mephibosheth because he's connected to the house of Saul. Please hear me believers, we're rounding up. I truly want your life to experience the reality of God's grace. I want you to touch these mysteries, to experience them in a way and a manner that makes you exceptionally fruitful remember the lord told us at the beginning of this year that i will make you exceeding fruitful he said it he said it and i believed him it's a year of extraordinary fruitfulness and now i show you the mystery of remembrance that a book can be opened you can call upon the god of heaven and say lord remember 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 my father was a missionary you can tell god he's gone to be with the lord but remember he served you even at the point of death lord this is not how you reward them that serve you suddenly the book is open and god says let me come and invest my favor upon this family for the sake of the sacrifice it is not always about what you have done personally you can take advantage of every good thing. Philemon chapter 1 and verse 6. That the communication of your faith might become effectual through the acknowledging of every good thing that is in you in Christ. You can take advantage of every good thing. Lord, I'm in the worship team. Come. I sing. I sing. I stand before your people and I sing. Lord, when apostle is preaching, I'm also standing. Sometimes I am tired, but I'm standing. Remember, oh God, your service. And the heavens open towards you. And God comes to you. Son, what should I do? And you say, oh God, bless me. Give me wisdom. Give me favor. And he opens up your heavens. Do not waste your yesterday many of you made good use of it use it as a memorial let it rise to heaven speak to him concerning every matter don't forget what i taught you don't forget the scripture that i taught you that you stand before god and say remember concerning this issue remember you can confront him concerning any issue bring your strong reason lord let the plague of death end in this family why should the plague of death end lord even if everybody served idols i stand as a preach i stand as a priest i have called upon the name of the lord and adam knew his wife again and she bore seth and men began to call upon the name of the lord i stand as a preach in my family hallelujah let me give you one prayer point last prayer point and then we are done i like you to pray and say lord every good thing that should come into my life as declared by your word as declared by scripture i declare that on account of this remembrance i receive it by faith let it come huh? please lift your voice and pray i receive it by faith every good thing I taste it and every good thing. Ero Shabaka, every good thing. Paracataponsa, Epa Salagotari, Shekeropa, Epataya, Ragabaka, he that did not spare his son, but offered him freely, shall surely not much more than all things. I place it on the Rakopa, Rakabaka, 
Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I decree and I declare over your life in the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God. I stand by the privilege of God's grace and I call upon our Father, who is the God in heaven, concerning you, concerning your family, concerning the issue of request. I agree with you. Let the book of remembrance be opened now. Let the book of remembrance be opened now. Let the book of remembrance that archives your faithfulness. Let the book of remembrance that archives your sacrifice. Let the book of remembrance that archives your consistency. Let the book of remembrance that records your diligence, your unbendedness, the service you have served in the house of God. I stand before the God of all heavens and I declare, let it be opened now. And I pray in Jesus' name that every Ahasuerus that sustains the influence, the wealth, the intellectual prowess, the access to lift you and take you from the gate of your destiny into the palace. I command, let there be no sleep for them tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I place an anointing upon you. And in the name of Jesus, Karus Kabaratusha, by that anointing, I declare that as you walk the length and breadth of your territory, your city, everyone anointed and ordained to remember you for good, I compel that the anointing will cause them to do so. I bring your ministry before the God of heaven. Let it be remembered tonight. I bring your family before the God of heaven. Let them be remembered tonight. I bring your education before the God of heaven. I command remembrance tonight. I bring your finances before the God of heaven. I provoke remembrance tonight. I bring your marriage before the God of heaven. I provoke remembrance tonight. I bring your business before the God of heaven. I provoke remembrance tonight. I bring your destiny before the God of heaven. I provoke remembrance tonight. I even bring your past before the throne of heaven. And I declare remembrance for the sake of mercy. That every dimension like Joseph that you would have entered and has been delayed for two years delayed for three years delayed for 25 years delayed for 60 years there are blessings God spoke to your grandparents it's been delayed for decades by the mystery of remembrance I bring you into that inheritance I bring you into that experience I'm praying that between now and the end of October, as surely as the Lord lives, let there be a sign in your life. Let there be a sign in your academics, a sign in your ministry, a sign in your family. In the name of Jesus Christ. 
the last prayer for you. Everything you have lost. Please believe the prayer. Whether it is money you have lost. Relationships you have lost. Assets you have lost. Any kind of thing. Your spiritual life. Your fire. I stand by the God of heaven. And I decree and declare. On account of the book of remembrance being opened. I provoke sudden restoration. Sudden restoration. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Sudden restoration. Listen. And I not only pray for you. I pray for everyone connected to you. Connected to you by blood. Connected to you spiritually. Let the extension of this mystery of remembrance reach them. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Let me challenge you before I do the altar call. Please listen. I'd like you to use this weekend into next week as God grants you grace. Please put this that I teach you to work. Don't just get excited for nothing. Many of you need to go back to God on behalf of your family. Do business with God. I'd like you to put your destiny in front of you and negotiate your way into dimensions of power, dimensions of grace. Remember, oh God, sing before him, dance before him. Do it as a couple. Do it as brothers and sisters. Do it as fellow church members, fellowship members. Stand before God with understanding and watch the wonder-working power of the mysteries of the kingdom. Lord, we give you all the praise. Let the name of the Lord be praised. Lord, may we have many testimonies from tonight's encounter. In the name of Jesus Christ. Everyone stand, please, if you can. Hello, beloved in Christ. We hope this message was a blessing to you. I would want you to do something for us. If you are new here, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us. And then like this video as well. Share to your family and friends to bless them. Because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us too. Tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for watching.